Okay, we'll call to meet to order the uh, Urban Forestry Committee meeting of uh, July 20th. And uh, let's see, we have minutes to approve for the May 18th meeting. Who would like to, do we have any corrections or additions to those May 18th minutes? And if not, we'll look for a motion to approve. Mr. Chairman, I'd move to approve. We have a motion, second, any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Those minutes are approved. Okay, Mr. Hadley, you got two items it looks like for us today. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Good morning to you all and welcome to the new member. Thank you. Thank you for participating with us. Um, the I think it was brought up a <clears throat> during a few of the discussions on urban forestry and in the past of what we've done for solicitation of donations. And um, I did look through the archives of some of our digital files and found a list of folks and a letter and just wanted to make sure that that's what we still wanted to do. Um, we, we do have a pretty progressive plan. Nothing on paper yet, but it's kind of all in our heads of um, doing a block by block of the downtown core with decorative street lighting, possibly some art, and um, obviously trees, replacing trees. So to supplement that, um, the group in the initial discussion decided that maybe we should solicit, solicit some donations from um, the community to help move that along because we have we do have a pretty limited budget I think we had a six thousand dollar total for this year um, six thousand doesn't go real far when we're buying lights that are you know three or four thousand a piece um, to try to supplement what we're doing downtown um, just wanted to bounce that off the board and make sure that that was something that we still want to do if, it, if that's the case what we'll do is craft a letter and send it to that same list of folks. And as we find others, or if you know anybody else that we should include, we will give you the list and the, the letter that we send out. Um, just kind of looking for a concurrence that we still want to move in that direction. Any feedback from Mr. Hadley on that, that item? I, I can't imagine. Anybody would be against that. I, there are people who I know, especially when you start talking trees, would like to do that. Do you think, uh, is there any chance there could be matching from the city with a program like this? Well, we do have a $6,000 budget mm -hmm. that is our match now if it stays in this next budget as is. Um, Additionally, I think that you know there might be some some chances to do um, get some funding from some other sources from the city for like the public art or you know some of those items that probably are going to go beyond what we can actually ever afford to do through urban forestry. I think for just trees, if we were just doing trees, I think the lighting and the artwork and obviously the streetscape. Craig can talk about that. The cost per foot of replacing sidewalk and what have you is not cheap. Uh, we did those four trees for Urban for Arbor Day this year and there was quite a, a cost involved as far as just actually making it work on the ground. And in talking to the electrical folks and in talking and looking at some of the infrastructure we have downtown, our all of our old light standards are on concrete that is in pretty poor shape. Um, we're gonna see if we can grind that down and mount the new poles on the old pedestals, but if we can't, that's going to be an additional cost too. So it's you kind of it's one of those things that you open up, and I'm sure Craig can talk about the numbers much better than I can. Um, you start opening up that little can of worms, and you have a number of things to to address, and they they always wind up being a little more costly than what you think. So if we were just talking the cost of the trees, I think it would be pretty simple, and we could do it. But it is we have. Um, tree well locations and um, locations downtown where 
the, we have a, a five by five section of, of sidewalk and it has a hole this big that was cut for a tree. Well, the tree's not there anymore. Well, we can't really plant a tree back in um, a hole this big. And we really don't want to do that. Uh, we want to pop that whole section out, put a tree grade in, um, and do it correctly. Um, Would the this solicitation for donations be potentially opened up so that if some donor said, I'd like to see trees over on State Avenue or 10th Avenue East, whatever it may be, where they could designate where that money goes. Yeah, I don't know why they. Yeah, I don't know why they couldn't. Yeah, that would be great. It's downtown, and and Craig, jump in whenever you want. Um, downtown, roughly, um, I was estimating about a thousand dollars a tree, for the size of trees we're getting, the tree grates, the concrete, <coughs> um, whatever you know. And sometimes it might be more, sometimes it might be less. But we have been, I have been working with the Downtown Association. They are excited about it. And actually they have a, a small portion of <coughs> that group that's gonna go out and do some solicitations too. They haven't been real successful yet, but they just started, so. Um, it's kind of where we're going, just kind of an update and then just kind of a, make sure that we're all on the same page as far as going out for some solicitations. People don't have to donate and we wouldn't expect everyone to, but we, you know, and they don't have to donate a lot of money. They don't have to donate enough to pay for a tree. Um, we were thinking if businesses um, wanted to jump on board or individuals that we might do some, of, some sort of a plaque recognition thing, uh, quality quick print downtown is obviously involved in the downtown association and they said that they could come up with something that was pretty cost effective to probably put on the tree grate itself, um, mount it next to the tree, you know, donated by, you know, year type of tree. Um, there's also some interest to have an identification system that says this is what the tree is, this is, the library's doing that right now with some of the work that they've done in the front of the library. Um, I'm suggesting to Brenda, the gal that does our landscaping in, in the front here, um, that we do something similar here for identification of perennials and sure. that type of thing. So anyway, well, public I education thing. Generally, I, I expect that nobody on this board would have a problem yeah. pursuing this. That's okay. the input you're looking for. I did. Got some heads to nod yes, so yes. Okay. Okay, and then you have a report on tree planting up north. Yeah, the um, <coughs> you know, Craig, do you want to start this off? I mean, Craig, Craig knows more about this. I kind of jumped in at the end and just kind of organizing where they were going, and uh, we did it. Obviously, you probably noticed some, a lot of trees planted on 21st Street and State Avenue um, in town, and they're all looking pretty w well at this point. It was part of the road projects that we did. Um, Craig, you want to? Yeah, actually, we, we, uh, we had three major street projects in Northwest Dickinson. It was State Avenue north of 21st Street, and then State Avenue south of 21st Street, back to 15th Street, <coughs> and 21st Street from State to 30th. And uh, on all of those, we planted trees under one contract. Uh, I believe it was Taylor Nursery that did the tree plantings. Uh, but we had about 150 trees that we planted uh, along those three corridors. I think, like Walter said, the, the survival rate's been pretty good. They have the tree bags on all of them where they can get 10 gallons of water on them. So we hope the, the survival rate is, is good. But when we bid those projects, uh, when we plant those trees through a city project, we do include a one-year warranty. And, and the, the maintenance that the, is required is, is kind of up to the planter. But at the end of that one-year maintenance period, any tree that hasn't survived or hasn't survived well uh, will be replanted. So next spring, anything that would have died back will replant with a, with a new tree. So um, we, we think it's pretty good. It, it really adds to the corridor, to the curb appeal for those new streets. And uh, we look forward to doing that. The other plantings that we did this year were along 30th, and that was through a, a really through a pilot program uh, of NDSUs to plant some different cultivars of trees that they're trying to vet out what will be a good boulevard tree. In, in different climates in North Dakota. So we had, I believe it was 80 trees this year that went in on 30th. And it's a two-year program, so we anticipate again, uh, 80 more trees will come out to Dickinson. That's really at no cost to us. They ask that we water those trees, but they come out, 
and provide the trees and all the labor to plant them. So it's a, a pretty good program. So we'll have some more trees going in with that program as well. And those had pretty good success so far too. I think there's probably five to seven that aren't doing well um, like. out, of, out of that number, which is pretty good actually. I drove through there yesterday, I think by and large, it looked really good yeah. by and large. I sure hope that in the future it can be policy basically on these major street projects that we just include trees <coughs> given. Anybody have any comments on the 21st and states? Um, I think it really does make a difference from when you when you come into town. The, the feeling that you get when you come into town with those tree plantings. I mean, it does make a different statement than you know. It's great to have the roads and the sidewalks and the sewer water, all that, but not necessarily everybody appreciates that at the same level mm -hmm. um, for aesthetics. What what did those trees cost? On average, the, the ones on trees, states. Well, the ones were, were <coughs> no states, cost to the city. Uh, states and twenty first. On states and twenty first, th they were actually very what I would consider very inexpensive. Uh, not to be expected, those prices. It was less than two hundred dollars a tree yeah. to plant and have a one year warranty. So, but um, probably for three or four hundred dollars, we could plant trees. W with with that warranty, we would expect something closer to the thousand dollars. Really, for trees. But this this was this was part of the the street project, and they they chose to put their their dollars on other bid items, so mm -hmm. that the trees were rather inexpensive on this project. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? I don't think project? so. Nope. Okay, and then this this work session. Did you talk about this already? Well, um, well. What I'd like to do is have everybody look next spring for Arbor Day. Um, I didn't didn't really talk about it. I talked about portions of it. I need to identify a half a block, one side of one block, um, for next year's Arbor Day um, celebration. And basically, we're talking not just for trees. Um, we're talking about possibly some art that the downtown folks are going to look into too, um, some street lighting and street trees. Um, so we're going to target that area. What I like is some input. I don't necessarily want to just go out and pick. I mean, we picked the, f the uh, four locations for the four trees by the brick house this year because they're actually in our plan, our downtown plan. It's an area that really isn't going to change much. It shows a linear line of trees there. It was pretty easy to just pick that area and move forward. Um, what I would like to do is maybe bounce a block or half a block or a little ways away and kind of make a statement of something else because down by the brick house, um, if you're not aware, we're actually going to install six new lights, two street lights on Sims um, and four in the park and they, they will represent two of each of our different decorative street lighting standards that we're promoting now in the city. So it's going to be kind of a showcase of I can send people down there, Craig can send people down there and just say this is what our new street lights are going to look like. Some of them are more geared toward um, paths and walking trails. Um, others are going to be more of the downtown mid-block range and then the taller standards which you see at Thrifty White is the closest one I have that you can see those taller standards in their parking lot right now. Um, I'd like the group to look and I'd like to have some feedback. Obviously we have a little bit of time before we have to come, come up with a plan and move forward on that. But I'd like you to maybe as you're out and about, look at the downtown area and um, just give me some feedback on where you think. I, I prefer a short block because I, I'm trying to limit it to two tall standards and a couple of small light standards um, to keep the, the budget down. So I'd like to have a shorter block um, to work with. and. Uh, just like some input on it, basically. So you an area that we could actually improve that you think is very visible. Um, you know, we'd like it to be visible to the community so they can kind of see what we're doing and, and also people come into the community. I'm sure everybody would be happy to do that. I, in the end, you guys will probably have to come with, you know, if you want input here, maybe come with two or three options. So we've got something specific, but in the meantime, 
expect everybody to be happy to do that. Yeah, and what we'll do is um, I'll, I'll work with Craig and we'll come up with a, <coughs> a, a plan when we identify an area and we'll bring it back to the group and bring it back to the commission. Okay, so good. See where we're going. Anything else for Forest Committee? That's it. Thank you, sir. Okay, can we have a motion to adjourn? Second. Second. Okay, we are adjourned and we will call to order the July. Mr. Chairman, if you could hold off. Randy needs about three minutes to set up. Sir?